Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Good morning. So, what I'm going to be doing in this video is a good idea from my good friend JW. You guys probably are subscribed to him already on the channel. Um, but basically what he did, he's been doing YouTube I think a little over two years now. And uh, he did a video where he kind of just reflected on his build over the last year. So, I put together a little video and just kind of going through the last year or so of doing YouTube and my truck build along the way. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. All right guys, so I just got these back from paint. I got them color matched the truck. They're all done, I got these caps back on. I got the reverse, I guess they call them clearance lights, all wired up. And we're gonna see how they look. Way better, way, way better. Got them all leveled now. So now you just pretty much press whatever color you want. Boom. Alright, so that's blue. And the camera kind of looks like a purplish. It's actually not purple at all. It's, it's straight blue. Uh, I don't know why my camera's showing it. It might not show that when I edit it, but on the camera it shows it. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely happy with these lights for 50 bucks. And like I was saying, I'm not a big fan of colorful stuff on my truck and all that, but it's pretty sweet. All right, so yes, they do have the C in them. Finally got my new headlights in. Uh, I did a post on Instagram a little bit ago, uh, maybe like a week or so ago, and it was with kind of a similar set of headlights, blacked out. And so I, I really wanted to go back to these and see how I like them now. All right, here it is. Tell me what you guys think. I think it looks way better actually. I do like color match stuff, but I feel like blacked out is more the theme of this truck. I didn't want to be too much on blacked out, but you know now that I added color match stuff like the, the shock hoop there, the toe mirrors, I feel like it looks really good with the blacked out headlights. Do you think, you like it, Joe? Yeah, it looks good. Cleans up the whole front end. I think it looks awesome. Like his truck. Paint match with the white on everything. I like white, like his truck looks good with the white right there. Well, completely different housings obviously, but I think that looks good. I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me how the light output is with these blacked out lenses. And so I'm going to show you real quick. You know, it, it's plenty. I just went to the gym and came back. It's, you know, it's plenty. But I also run these fog lights all the time. And they're the Rigid Industries, like I said. And they put out, you know, ridiculous light anyways. But, so I guess the only negative to running these would be like... Uh, whether you live in like a strict area for this kind of stuff uh, blacked out stuff tint stuff like that because I mean I got my blacked out tail lights my tints 2% but uh, you know it all depends on where you live really uh, someone said it's it's not about how strict the cops are it's how the law is and I mean I guess it's but I mean, some cops choose to really enforce it and some don't, so not always that way. But yeah, I would say that's the only negative side of these. They look awesome, as you guys seen, but you know, just definitely, definitely check before you get something like this. You don't want to be getting pulled over all the time. Alright guys, so obviously what I'm doing is pulling these off. I know a lot of you guys probably seen Truck Master's video. 
where he pulled off his fender flares and it was all rusted up under there because well he lives in Michigan so he's got he got salt that gets up under here you have water snow all that um, being in Florida I don't have to deal with any, any of that now I do expect it to be kind of I guess scuffed up a little bit under here just from um, you know sand and stuff stance is much meaner than I look look at that I mean way meaner but um, I do like the fender flares especially because it covers up these little scuffs but uh, you know I'd like to get that fixed but I think it would also look good with color match fender flares so do I keep them on do I do I take them off or do I leave them off but I think it, look, it looks pretty good all right guys so what I was going to show you is right here it's going to make oil changes much easier it's the uh, engine oil drain valve Fomoto makes it and uh, what's cool is you just screw it on where your drain plug would be it's got it's got another gasket that's stuck up and you can see it right there but um, it makes it easy so you just have to switch flip the valve to drain your oil there's a clip that wraps around right here and it holds it in place so it can't move on its own all right so here it is let's see how she works Flick, you just push this down, turn it, and there it goes. So this truck takes 10 quarts. I always buy like 11 quarts or I just buy the pack of 12. So that way I always have one around. And that way you can do stuff like this and whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna let this thing drain for probably a little bit more, just make where it's just barely dribbling out. I mean, it's almost there right now. So yeah, I could probably get started just dumping the oil back in it and then I'll do the first start and uh, we'll be done. Pretty easy stuff, guys. Um, go check them out. If you have a Duramax, that is the number you want to look up and if it would focus. F106N, that's the one you want if you have a Duramax. I think they're all the same for every Duramax. I'm pretty, pretty positive. Yeah, so I decided to go with a road armor. The reason I went with road armor is uh, I could not find a bumper that really matched the front, like the lines of the front. Uh, this is a Fusion bumper. Uh, yeah, Fusion does make a rear bumper, but to me it doesn't really flow like it should, like the rear bumper. And uh, road armor was the only one I really seen that really looked like it should on my truck. Uh, yes, Street Speed has one. So I guess I'm gonna start getting uh, comments about copying them again. So that's good. But um, drag this box probably out there. See if I can get it in the sun. Uh, we're losing a little bit of daylight. Nothing. Excuse me. Well, excuse me. Unbelievable. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what they are right now, and then I'm gonna show you what they are. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard. TIS, T I S, I don't know how you say it. And these are the Forged series. As you can see right there, they have, is it TIS Off Road? They also have TIS Forged. And uh, like I said, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know if you pronounce it like TIS or T I S. No idea. Alrighty, guys, here they are. For whoever guessed, there are 24 14s. You were correct. <laughs> They're so much bigger. I'm trying to get this one to stop. Put the team on my back. I do it all for the family. Everyone that they can rap. Nobody ever gonna challenge me. Starting my week on a Sunday. TIS forged wheels, 2414s. Um, gloss black with like your milled exposed metal right there. And the tires are Nitto 401550. And they're trail grapplers. Clearly, pretty, pretty common tire for you know lifted trucks. <laughs> All right, guys, so whoever guessed gloss dark gray, you are correct. I'm going to go through the comments and see who guessed that. But um, some could say, like, battleship gray or destroyer gray or that. And, like, the way sometimes when the, when the sun hits it the right way, it almost looks like that Nardo gray.
I'm better with the color choice. So um, it's Avery Denison vinyl. And uh, I got it installed locally here at Epic Wraps. Gave me a really good price. Um, we're probably going to still do a little bit more to it with the color. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have the inside of the doors, the, the door sills done by them as well. But uh, we're kind of in a time crunch here. So we got this done. We ended up adding, having them add uh, like a gloss black vinyl right here. And the truck's really dirty still because it's, you know, fingerprints all over it from them installing it and stuff. And uh, it kind of was running late yesterday. So, you know, I went ahead and just said, you know, I'll do it. I'll, I'll clean it. So it, I think it turned out amazing. I put a new uh, tailgate cap on here too. I needed one. Um, they did all new vinyl right there, matched the truck. I couldn't be happier really. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's a whole different truck. Look at this. All right, guys, so what we're going to be doing, and this is, it should be pretty easy install. I think the hardest part is going to be uh, finding the drain, getting the old wires off, fixing some ring terminals, that kind of stuff, and then I'll be wiring this stuff up. Um, I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff I don't use. I don't know that I'm going to keep the rock lights on the truck. I just don't use them. You know, they're cool and all, but I think I might take them off my truck and maybe put them on uh, uh, the new boat, whatever. You know, I don't know. We'll see. I got this running right there, running along there. I still got to tie all that stuff up. There's the box. I got it screwed in right there. I got the ground right there. Um, all this is gonna be cleaned up and wrapped a little. I got it out of the way for now. I'm gonna be just zip tying more and probably doing this little plastic style over everything. That way it's all protected. Uh, but there's number one, there's number two. Probably can't see it because it's right out, but you probably see there's the light bar and the fogs are on also. Um, so those are on yellow, and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna label them all here soon. Number three, um, number three is gonna be both rock lights. So I still gotta run these and hook them back up. I'm gonna do a different connection to the inside rock lights that I showed you guys that are under the under the dash there, and then. Uh, I'm gonna do a few more little tiny things, just kind of tucking some wires, and this thing is done. We decided to do like a muzzle brake end on it. I'm gonna go see what it looks like on the truck here in a second. Seeing if I can get it all straight, which I think the clamp's gonna end up straightening it for me. But as you can see, the angle, I wanna keep it with the angle. And uh, man, this thing looks sick. The truck's dirty, so it makes it look even better. But uh, I think it looks awesome. Let me get it clamped up, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys outside the truck. Oh man, that thing's sick. This company, Truck Covers USA, was nice enough to send me a really, really nice tonneau cover. And you know, I've been wanting to have one, especially with how much I fish. I like to have stuff locked up, coolers and stuff like that. So. They're nice enough to send me this. I'm gonna be doing an install on this in this video with it. Just want to show you guys look how small this like canister is. I mean, it's like it barely takes up any of the bed. Like look, I guess as much as it's gonna take up basically. Usually, like the one I installed for my dad was like it was about out to here, much deeper. This is like I want to say it's eight inches that way, and eight inches deep. I think it's eight by eight. I mean, that's nothing. And you still got a lot of room underneath. So you don't really lose your bed space on this. But anyway, I just thought that was pretty cool to show. I didn't realize it'd be this small. The fit and the finishes of this thing. I mean, look how sleek it looks. That canister is really small. Um, now I will say, this ain't a super cheap one by any means, but um, you can tell it's a really, really good one. And you know, I don't like to put cheap stuff on my truck anyway, so. Go ahead and head outside and I'll show you. Let me get it out of the packaging real quick. Dang, look at that color. I forget what the color's called, but it's all listed on his website, which will be in the description. Um, so he makes these, these four inch intakes. I, I believe he makes them for all the Duramaxes. So um, definitely go check them out. You can see how nicely everything is. Nice powder coat, nice riveted logo there. Super high quality, really nice welds. Powder coating is 
top notch. The filter itself top notch. All the fittings, everything is top notch. So highly recommend this to someone. You can get it basically any color you want.